video is going to show you how to answer a word problem that it deals with scientific notation operations. So we don't know what the, the most difficult problem about these, the, the most difficult thing about these problems is that you really don't know which operation to use. You take it one step at a time. It says in April, an online social networking site had approximately 200 million registered accounts. 200 million. So 200 million, first of all, if you, know, you have to know how to write 200 million. So use commas and just make sure that you have 200 million. That's 200,000. And that's 200 million. Okay. So 200 million registered accounts. In August, the number of registered accounts had risen to 3.62 times 10 to the 8. How many more users were there in August than in April? First off, this is the amount for August. So I'm going to actually just put that down. This is August right here times 10 to the 8. So then you have two, so you're asking, they're asking you how many more were there in August than in here. The only, time, the only way you find the, really the difference between the two is how many more there were in August. The only way to find that difference is to actually subtract. You have two options here. First, you could take this number here, convert it into standard notation, and then subtract them in standard, and then revert back to scientific notation if they want it in scientific notation, and we do. Um, or you could take this number and convert it into scientific notation and just do the subtraction in scientific notation. So that's the way I'm going to go. I'm going to convert the 200 million to scientific notation. We always said that the decimal is at the end of each number. So we're going to move that decimal over to create a number that's between 1 and 10. We're going to move that over. And if I stop there, that's a 20. If I stop there, that's a 2. So now... I am going to put down 2 times, and every time, you know, the scientific notation is times 10 to a base of 10. And remember, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you moved over 8 times, it's to the 8th power. Remember, this is a large number. Large numbers, positive exponents. So I'm going to put my parentheses around there. And you're going to see how easy this becomes in scientific notation without doing all of the actual math of uh, that standard notation brings with it. This is 3.62 times 10 to the 8th minus 2 times 10 to the 8th. You realize that 3.62 minus 2 can be done now without any more work because both the exponents are the same. So it's 3.62 minus 2, and you get 1.62. And it's times 10 to the 8th. And if they want it, how many more uses? <laughs> That's in scientific notation. If they want it in standard, and you actually want to see a number here, you write down 1.62. I'm going to add some zeros because I know I'm going to move that to the eighth, 10 to the eighth. That means I'm going to make this number a large, large number. It depends on how they want and what they want uh, from you as, as a final answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have to the 8th power, I added enough zeros there, 1, 6, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. So, 162 million more uses in August than in April. So, not bad. Okay, so that's it. That's, you're done. All right. If they want it in scientific notation, they'll tell you. All right. This question really doesn't do a good job of telling you, um, you know, what to leave it in. But this would be correct if, if they wanted it in scientific notation. This would be correct if they wanted it in actual number in standard notation. All right. So let's go down to 
number eight. Number eight is a two-part question. It says the mass of the Earth is 5.97 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. The mass of the moon is 7.34 times 10 to the 22nd in kilograms. What is the combined, and that is the mean word, combined mass of the Earth and moon? Only time, now listen, you have to combine this and this. So it's obvious what you have to do. Put down the Earth. Remember, when they say combine, you're not talking about subtraction. So you're out with that. When they say combine, you're not talking about division. You're out there. All right, this is to the 24th. I know it doesn't look like a two. When you say combine, you want to add them. All right, so this is 7.34 times 10 to the 22nd. All right, and now you have to add them. To add these, remember the exponents have to be the same. I'm going to add 2 to this one over here to make it a 24. Since I'm going to make that larger, I'm going to make this smaller. And since I'm going to make that larger by 2, I'm going to make this smaller by 2. So this becomes a 0 0.0734, and I'm going to write that down before I lose track of what it is. 0 0.734. And that is times 10. And now that is to the 24th power, which is what, that's what I tried to do. All right, put the parentheses around it, put the plus there, and just bring down the rest of it. 5.97 times 10 to the 24th. Okay. So now you take your calculator, and you could add these two numbers. You could add them because, again, you have a number that is equal on both sides as an exponent. So it's 5.97 plus 0 0.0734. And remember, if you're doing this by hand, you're actually lining up the decimals. So if you add that together, you'll see that you'll get 0... Um, 6.0434 and the whole thing is 2 times 10 to the 24th this is the combined mass express your answer in scientific notation that is it and you move on to point uh, part b part b says is asking how many times as great is the mass of the earth as the mass of the moon how many times as great all right it's a little it, the words are not that great but every time they ask you how many times as great how many times you have to divide and that key word is times how many times as great that says that you have to divide is the mass of the earth as the mass of the moon. So we're going to take the mass of the earth, how many times is great, 5.97 times 10 to the 24th. And divide it, yeah, that's good. And divide it by the mass of the moon, which is, I'm going to put this in a big fraction, 7.34 times 10 to the 22nd. Yippee. All right. So this is not like addition and subtraction. This is division. So what we're going to do is we're just going to divide the, the first numbers. The exponents do not have to be the same. So when you put this into your calculator, you're putting 5.97 divided by 7.34. Four. And then you get a long number. Uh, listen, I'm going to kind of round it. So you have 0 0.813 3 and I'm going to stay I'm going to stop at 5. All right, this number seems to go on forever. And you know what? It doesn't matter. All right. 
So when you divide, what do you do with the exponents? You subtract them. So this is 24. We're going to subtract these. 24 minus, and you're only you're dividing, so you're subtracting the exponents. 24 minus 22 is 2. This is not a number in scientific notation. This, this number right here is not between 1 and 10. I'm going to move that decimal over 1, and I'm going to make that a larger number. I have to make this a smaller number. So this has to be S. To make this smaller, you have to subtract 1. So this becomes 8.1335 times 10 to the first power, which is really just times 10. If they said not scientific notation from the standard number times 10, you're just going to move this decimal. This is to, remember, this is to the first power. But this is done because they said in scientific notation, that is scientific notation. Right? But if they wanted standard, you just move this decimal over, it would be 81.335. And that is basically the standard notation answer. Okay, and that's the video.